welcome today. I'm really excited to have you both here. Uh, we've been hearing a ton of talk at this event. We know that over the past few years, management of data centers has been an incredibly complex task, especially as we're talking things like hybrid world. Um, you guys had a huge launch this week, uh, Nexus Cloud. I'm really excited about it because I know it's really changing the way that we're, how people are even going to address management of their data centers. So I'd love to start just by hearing a little from you. What do you think that's going to do for management of data centers as a, as a whole, and how is it going to impact not only like the operations teams, but developers that are maybe helping automate things inside of data centers? Thank you for having us here. Um, it's, been, it's been great. We've had a great launch this week. Uh, just to set the context uh, from a customer perspective, gone are the days where your workload used to be within the four walls of data centers. What is happening now is every customer we talk to, they have a multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategy. They are deploying applications not only on their private data centers, but also in the public cloud. Now, if you think about it, there are two problems with this. There's a skill set gap in terms of understanding all this different environment, and then the environments are so huge, you can't operate one data center at a time, right? So we really needed this solution where you could operate this environment from a management perspective and also from a troubleshooting perspective. And that's where Nexus Cloud comes in, right? Simplicity has been at the core construct of when we started building the Nexus Cloud from an engineering perspective. Um, and Yusuf and team has been hugely focused on enabling our developers in terms of trying to get Nexus Cloud API available for everything which we developed so that they can build automation and deploy it in their environment. Excellent. Anything you want to add? No, thank you, Eric. And I think um, just echo Ronak's sentiment is glad to be here. And I think your question, the opening question, I mean, requires a lot of conversation. And I don't know how much time we have, uh, but um, uh, I think as Ronak mentioned, that it is the manage. It is not just the management of the data center, but it is the manage of the infrastructure, right? And wherever your workload is running, and these days the workload can be running on your edge, can be running in your uh, hybrid cloud environment, such as your private cloud, or in any of the multi-cloud environment, right? Because uh, I think uh, one of the stats that we have quoted quite liberally this week is that 92% of the organizations have multi-cloud environment. So that is not one cloud can satisfy their requirements. So the skill gap that Ronak mentioned is that how do we make sure that the networking construct, for example, that I have trained all my life within the uh, construct of a data center are applicable, that skill set is applicable in a public cloud environment also. Because the concept of IP address, subnet mask, route table, ping, trace route are not applicable there and each of the cloud service provider is using a different construct. Mm -hmm. So how do we as Cisco help solve the customers as they are trying to scale their environment from data center, on-prem data center to public cloud environment? And there is a, not only a skill gap, but there is a, a tool set gap also. And that's where Nexus Cloud steps in, that it gives you the easy button to manage your hybrid cloud environment, whether it is on-prem or whether your workloads are sitting in the public cloud. That's awesome, and I love hearing that. It's, a, it's particularly poignant because we're at Cisco Live right now. We're, it's all about educating, helping close some of that skill gap, but it's, it's an endless race, isn't it? You know, the technology is evolving so quickly, it's incumbent on us to be able to help them by releasing things that are simpler, mm -hmm. releasing things that are very easy for yeah. people to get onboarded with, and simplifying that multi-cloud world for them is, is huge, so I love hearing that. Um, I'm curious, as we look forward to another few years, where do you see the platform continuing to evolve and what do you see, do you think it's going to change the day-to-day -day life of some of our typical you know, network operators, architects, engineers? Are we, are we saying we're going to shift the way they're doing their work? And, and I'm curious your thoughts on like, what's your vision for that oh, down the road? And I think, um, uh, given that we are sitting at DevNet, I mean, you guys are very much aware that look, like the, the movement of DevOps, right? Because the networking operations team, the dev development operations team, the security operations team, uh, platform operations team, they're all coming together, right? And the way we are, they are consuming the infrastructure is just like uh, how the, the developers consume the uh, application resources, right? So Nexus Cloud is very instrumental in making sure that we make the consumption of the infrastructure easy for the developers. Right? Uh, and that's where, like, I mean, API first comes in. We want to make sure that, I mean, there is a one-to-one -one correlation between what we have on the API versus the features that we are exposing to the UI. Right? I mean, we want to make sure that, I mean, through the DevNet, I mean, we give the resources to the developers so that they can adopt our AC, um, APIs, our SDKs, our, our tool sets. Right? I mean, we, we are like working with you guys to make sure that we have very clear, documented code examples that 
that easy to understand and documented and supported by Cisco. So not only that, I mean, we build the tool set, we will help with the adoption of the tool set for the developer community and the DevOps community. Yeah, no, I think, I think Yusuf, you captured it well, right? It's super important when you think about it, this very complex environment, right? As we were talking, right, you couldn't manage data center at a time. The only way to manage this infrastructure is automated. The only way to manage this is build tool sets around it, some of, with some of the SDKs which we have developed, Yusuf and team, and we are working together. So we'll have out of the box, Golang and Python SDKs available for Nexus Cloud to enable our developers who wants to integrate this infrastructure into their uh, environment, right? When they're deploying applications or decommissioning applications or stretching that across the multiple clouds, the easiest way to do it is build automation around it using our SDK. And our goal is to provide snippet of course, so then we can get them started quickly, right? Uh, and then, you know, on the, on the journey where we have been on Nexus, we have always supported APIs, but one of the approach which we are doing it is, we're coming up with a little bit higher layer abstractions, so it's easier for a developer to achieve some certain workflow. Rather than really building with the Lego blocks, we're sort of giving them a little bit of a structure and walls and what, you, what would you need it, right? And using that, uh, we think it would really help our developer community to accelerate their deployment and usage of Nexus Cloud. That's great, and I'm really glad you brought up developers because obviously we are in the developer zone, and I'll say it's been a tremendous partnership between our organizations. I know we work very closely on yeah. making sure that all the right resources are out there, so those snippets of code are key. Yeah. We, get, we hear it from everyone in the zone. They need our help to, to make things that are use case based to help them see, you know, if you're trying to solve this really tough problem, we can help you get over that hurdle. Yeah. So I love, love your team's dedication to making sure we've got the right resources out there. Um, as always, you know, working on things like sandboxes where they can actually go try it themselves. Exactly. Um, it's a great way for people to start developing and understand the burden that it's going to lift from them, having to manage across all these different clouds with all the different APIs, like being able to actually come to us and have some level of abstra abstraction, yeah. not only of just calls, but the functions like yeah. you called out. Yeah. Because yeah. if all we do is abstract out the calls, it's still going to be very complex. So exactly. bringing our knowledge of what people are doing, of, of how we can bring all of that complexity out into simple functions, I love seeing that. It's it's such a great launch. Like I was really excited to see this come forward, and I know it's been a, a run up to it. We've gotten a lot of a uh, lot of progress on it. No, so. I think we are super excited. I think Ronak and his team has built a fantastic product for us, which is very intuitive, simple to use, and uh, it really keeps the developer as a first class citizen and keeps them uh, as the center of the whole experience. Because not only that, the uh, the platform itself to automate your day-to-day -day task and make it easier for you, but it doesn't stop here because it gives you an API that is a complete parity with all the features that you see on the UI side also. And then on top of it, we build the SDKs. On top of it that we have these, if you want to manage Nexus Cloud as your infrastructure as code, then we have Ansible collections, we have Terraform provider, and we, we will develop and document and support all these within our team also. I love too that you call out Ansible Terraform. We've seen a ton of sessions right. this week on that. Everyone's coming to us saying they want to be able to use the tools that they're already using. They want to fit into their existing methodology. So us not saying you must use exactly what we say, we want to meet them where they're at. And I, right. it's such a, I know it's an investment and I love seeing that you're committed to making sure that the community has access to use the tools they want. Um, I'm curious on that same front, so obviously we're, we're doing all of that abstraction, and historically, if we're talking a data center, you know, Nexus, AP, ACI, whatever it might be, there's a set of you know, network operators that are pretty much do it, running it. Do you, do you see Nexus Cloud as bringing this more into the realm of, like our application developers going to now potentially be calling into that to be able to leverage it in the ways that a lot of them might today use a public cloud, they might go out and do it themselves. Do you think that's going to help bridge that gap a little bit? So, um, you know, I think when we look at this workflows, and some of the functions which we are talking about, right? The goal is twofold, right? We use the same APIs to build our UI, so that the network operators who wants to go and click and uh, implement or deploy their workloads, they are able to do it in a simple way. But the benefit of simplifying the user experience also benefits the developer, because it's the same API which we are exposing to the developers, right? So, once we get to that level where you don't need to understand the networking concept a lot. App developers can start to interact with it 
uh, rather than thinking about VLANs and IP addresses, they can start to think about an application language, which we have done it on ACI, but we are now trying to bring that at a Nexus Cloud level. And I think the other key thing which we sort of didn't talk about it is Nexus Cloud is offered as a service, right? It makes it super simple. You don't need to deploy appliances or VMs or AMIs in the cloud. We take the ownership of managing that infrastructure for you, where you can run your management suite, which is Nexus Cloud. You just log in, and of course it has a native API. The other key part is Nexus Cloud is running on InterSight. So we've sort of brought our compute and networking platform together on InterSight. And that also allows application developers and the developers who are network centric to actually not only deploy the networking, but also interact with compute, right? So that has been the super powerful combination, we believe, would help uh, our developer community as well. Agreed, that's another common theme we're hearing from a lot of people, is they want to see those things coming together. They don't want to have to go to a bunch of different places. So bringing compute in, using the existing uh, platform, a lot of the same things, like you said, that came out of, say, ACI. I've worked with a lot of software companies that it simplified it in such a way that their developers were really empowered to do whole new things, like it, it removes IT as being a bottleneck a lot, right, right. and allows them to provide the level of service that they've come to expect from directly from, say, a cloud provider. So I love that, that's huge. Right, I mean, it's definitely huge, but we want to make sure our network operators still have the controls in terms of compliance and governance and security, right? Yeah. So we sort of created this bound, bounded region or sandbox, if you would say, so that developers have the full flexibility to deploy the application, but still they can be in the realm in their swim lanes and not break some of the compliance. Yeah, and Absolutely. also like I mean, at the same time, what we see that the developers coming in is when they want to develop some custom integrations. They want to do some custom workflows, right? Because obviously Nexus Cloud, as I mentioned, that we do the downstream automation uh, of the workflows and the day-to-day -day tasks that we believe are important for our customers to do. But I mean, we all understand the corner case, and we all understand that everybody has a unique deployment scenario, and if somebody wants to develop a custom workflow or custom integration, then they can use the same APIs that Ronak and his team uses to develop the Nexus Cloud uh, user interface. So I think that's a huge advantage for, for the developers and huge role for them to play in their organization. Absolutely, and, and I totally agree. I didn't mean to imply that we weren't going to need the network operators anymore it, with the customers I've worked with. It's so critical. They are empowered now to actually yeah. deliver the services that might have taken days or weeks they can just provide now and focus yeah. on those higher level functions, securing, making sure the overall infrastructure is secure, making sure it is a robust, high availability. They can focus on the things yeah. they should be focusing yeah. on and not the, you know, the bite-sized tasks that can be automated, that can exactly. be simplified. Exactly. So I love exactly. that. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious, just before we wrap up, is there anything that you've been hearing at the event? You've obviously been talking with a lot of customers. What, what are you hearing about this? Do you, are they excited or are they, do they see what this is going to mean to no, them? They're super excited because customers have been asking for three things, simplicity, agility, and scale. And Nexus Cloud delivers the power of Nexus with the agility of the cloud for them. But they're super excited. I mean, we have like, I mean, ran through the use cases that we are developing and how they're going to be coming to the market and very, very strong feedback from our customers and also from the analyst community also. So we, we are, we cannot be happier than uh, what the reaction that we have seen there. Excellent. Yeah, so, um, no, I agree 100% with uh, you. So we've, I've been talking to a lot of customers. Uh, and it's interesting, when we started on journey of software-defined networking, we call it SDN, uh, in 2012, you know, we developed a lot of capabilities in our products for customers to visualize it, right? In last couple of weeks, I've been talking about their ability to use Nexus Cloud and what they can do it. So we're doing a lot of anomaly detection. We are applying a lot of ML AI algorithms. Super powerful, it gives the recommendation in terms of where to fix it, right? Visibility is key. And using some of those techniques, it makes it super simple. Rather than going to four different places, they can get that one place to go and look at it and resolve the issue. And so my vision, and this is where it's very re well resonating with customers is to change from software-defined networking to self-driving network, right? So that is the North Star. At this point, we are in the crawl walk space, right? We are providing a lot of capabilities so that they can easily fix the problems that they see it. But that would be the North Star, and that's one of the theme which is coming up as well, saying we are kind of marching towards that, uh, and then customers really appreciate on, uh, and they want to work with us on this journey. Yeah, and I've seen that. I've seen that march going for a few years now, and and to see, and uh, you know, I I did operations way back in the day, 
to see the possibilities of bringing all of the knowledge that we have, all of the experience we have to bear through analytics engines, through AI ML, to be able to help them simplify theirs so they don't have to you know, troubleshoot the same problem that someone else might have. It, it's huge, so I love it. I'm so excited to see this. Love that uh, we continue to partner and we're bringing lots of developer resources out so that people can start trying it out. So I appreciate you both being here. Look forward to uh, seeing how this progresses over the coming months. Yeah, yeah thank you. Excited. Thank you for the partnership. Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Okay.